Good morning ladies and gentlemen in this video we are going to cover the current affairs of 15th January first question is which state has become india's first state to implement 10% quota to economically weaker sections of general category right answer is gujarat gujarat is the first state in india to implement 10% quota for economically weaker sections of general category this has become applicable from 14th January 2019 If we talk about Gujarat recently Gujarat was the best performing state as per the state's startup ranking 2018 this ranking was released by DIPP DIPP stands for Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion also India's first railway university was started in Vadodara in Gujarat Gujarat was the partner state of 2018 International Geeta Festival this festival held in Kurukshetra in Haryana Mauritius was the partner country and Gujarat was the partner state. Also, the 2019 Vibrant Gujarat Global Summit will be in Gandhinagar. This will be 9th edition. Theme of this edition is Shaping of a New India and UAE will be the partner country. If we talk about UAE, recently UAE declared 2019 as Year of Tolerance. UAE will also be the host of 40th session of GCC that means Gulf Cooperation Council. The most recent summit of GCC held in Riyadh. Riyadh is capital of Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia was also in news because of Mr. Jamal Khashoggi. Mr. Jamal Khashoggi was named Time Person of the Year. Next question is: The government of India has drafted five-year action plan to address drug abuse in the country for which of the following periods? Right answer is 2018 to 2023. The Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. has drafted a 5 year action plan this 5 year action plan is a strategy to address the problem of drug minas in our country so the duration is from 2018 to 2023 and this draft is a initiative of ministry of social justice and empowerment if we talk about drug abuse 26th june is observed as international day against drug abuse and illicit trafficking in india ncb that means Narcotics Control Bureau is the nodal drug law enforcement agency. It is responsible for fighting drug trafficking and abuse of illegal substances. NCB was formed in 1986 and it is under Ministry of Home Affairs. Presently, Mr. Abhay is the Director General of NCB. Next question is which country hold the first ever annual disarmament and international security affairs fellowship program? Right answer is India that means our country has started first ever annual disarmament and international security affairs fellowship program this program was inaugurated by united nations under secretary general ms izumi nakamitsu and our foreign secretary mr vijay kesav gokhale so this this is a initiative of ministry of external affairs and this covers a broad range of issues related to disarmament including nuclear disarmament if we talk about nuclear weapons 26th september is observed as international day for total elimination of nuclear weapons there is one important treaty related to nuclear weapons it is npt that means non proliferation treaty it was signed in 1968 and it should be kept in mind that india is not a signatory india is not a signatory to this treaty other non parties are israel north korea Pakistan and South Sudan. North Korea signed it but later it withdrew from NPT. Next question is in which year the 10th Sikh guru Gobind Singh was born? Right answer is 1666. The 10th Sikh guru Guru Gobind Singh was born in 1666. Recently 352nd birth anniversary of Guru Gobind Singh was celebrated as Prakash Utsav. He was born in Patna Saheb and he was the 10th Sikh guru. He founded a Sikh warrior community called Khalsa Panth at Anandpur Sahib in 1699 Guru Gobind Singh also introduced 5k that means five articles that Khalsa Sikh wear at all times the prime minister also released a commemorative coin of 350 rupee to mark the birth anniversary of Guru Gobind Singh presently a year long celebrations are also going on for 550th birth anniversary of Guru Nanak Dev ji A national implementation committee is also constituted the committee is under 
the chairmanship of Union Home Minister. In addition to that, a Kartarpur Sahib corridor will also be constructed. Additionally, the Sultanpur Lodi will be developed as heritage city, and first National Institute of Interfaith Studies will be established in Punjab on the occasion of 550th birth anniversary of Guru Nanak Dev Ji. If we talk about Guru Nanak Dev Ji, he was the founder of Sikhism. and he was the first sikh guru next question is which of the following commands is the only tri service theater command of indian armed forces right answer is andaman and nicobar command andaman and nicobar command is the only tri service command of the indian armed forces it is based at port blair in andaman and nicobar islands recently it was in news because defense minister ms nirmala sitaraman witnessed a joint military drill involving indian army indian air force indian navy and indian coast guard ms nirmala sitaraman also inaugurated information fusion center in gurugram recently now coming back to andaman and nicobar andaman and nicobar islands are very close to strategic malacca strait malacca strait is between malaysia and indonesia it is a very important choke point and that is why even china is trying to find a alternative route to this through china pakistan economic corridor if we talk about andaman and nicobar tri service command recently simbex was also conducted there simbex is a bilateral naval exercise between india and singapore the capital of andaman and nicobar is port blair and the veer saurkar international airport of port blair has been recently declared as authorized immigration check post andaman and nicobar is under the jurisdiction of calcutta high court it is oldest high court in india it was established on 1st of july 1862 recently three islands of andaman and nicobar have been renamed these are ross island and the new name of ross island is netaji subhash chandra bos island neel island and the new name is sahid dweep and the new name of havelock island is savraj dweep next question is who has been honored with lifetime achievement award by west bengal film journalist association right answer is buddh dev das gupta mr buddh dev das gupta who is a national award winning filmmaker has been honored with lifetime achievement award by west bengal film journalist association the award is in the name of late mr satyajit ray mr satyajit ray was a legendary filmmaker and his film Pathir Panchali is the only Indian movie to feature in BBC's 100 best foreign language films. There was one more legendary filmmaker who passed away recently. He was Mr. Mrinal Sen. If we talk about Bengali cinema, recently 2018 Kolkata International Film Festival was in news. This was 24th edition and it celebrated 100 years of Bengali cinema. Australia was the country of focus and the third wife movie was given best film award next question is who has won the newly instituted sushila devi literature award right answer is ms namita gokhale ms namita gokhale has won the sushila devi literature award for her novel things to leave behind this was the first edition of bhopal literature and art festival and ms namita gokhale has won this sushila devi literature award in this festival if we talk about bhopal it is in Madhya Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh government recently created spiritual department that means adhyatmik vibhag earlier Madhya Pradesh government was the first state in country to form happiness department now that happiness department will be incorporated into this spiritual department also Madhya Pradesh government recently conferred Tanseen samman to Ms Manju Mehta Madhya Pradesh government also started Pratibha Parv in all primary and secondary schools next question is which state government has launched one family one job scheme right answer is sikkim sikkim government has started one family one job scheme as per this scheme one government job will be provided to every family in the state however it should be kept in mind that the government employment will be awarded only to the members of those families which do not have a government job at present sikkim was also in news because of universal basic income the sikkim democratic front has recently decided to include universal basic income in the election manifesto 
with the objective to implement the scheme by 2022. The Chief Minister of Sikkim is Mr. Pawan Chamling and he is the longest serving Chief Minister of India. Sikkim recently got its first airport and the name of airport is Pakyong Airport. It was inaugurated by Indian Prime Minister Mr. Modi. Next question is, who is the head of group of ministers on GST revenue shortfall faced by states? Right answer is Mr. Susil Kumar Modi, Bihar Deputy Chief Minister Mr. Susil Kumar Modi will head the seven member group of ministers to look into the revenue shortfall being faced by various states following the rollout of GST. GST stands for Goods and Services Tax. This decision was taken during GST Council meeting. If we talk about GST Council, it is Goods and Services Tax Council. It is a constitutional body. It makes recommendations to union and state government on the issues related to goods and services tax. The GST Council is chaired by Union Finance Minister. And the recent, that means 32nd meeting of GST Council held in New Delhi. It was chaired by Union Finance Minister Mr. Arun Jaitley. Presently, all states except Andhra Pradesh and five Northeast states are facing revenue shortfall after the implementation of GST. These six states are Andhra Pradesh, Mizoram, Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, Sikkim and Nagaland. These six states have recorded revenue increase after the implementation of GST. In case of other states, they are facing the problems of revenue shortfall. Puducherry is facing the maximum revenue shortfall. Next question is, which Indian personality is the recipient of first ever Philip Kotler Presidential Award? Right answer is Indian Prime Minister Mr. Modi. Mr. Modi was given first ever Philip Kotler Presidential Award for his leadership. If we talk about Mr. Philip Kotler, he is a professor of marketing and he is considered as father of modern marketing. If we talk about Indian Prime Minister Mr. Modi, he was also selected for 2018 Seoul Peace Prize. Mr. Modi and French President Mr. Emmanuel Macron were also given Champions of Earth Award. Thank you and that's all for the day.